Okay, so now we've got all of our ribbon on and uh, now I'm gonna show you how to finish off the wreath. Now you can do, go ahead and separate out your ribbons now if you'd like. Um, you will wanna do it again because we're gonna, we're gonna squish it by flipping it over. So we're gonna flip over to the back side of the wreath. So there are two tools that are useful, but not mandatory. Um, if you have some wire cutters, um, they can be of use. And if you have some needle nose pliers, they can be helpful too. But I'll show you both ways to use them with and without. So what we're gonna do is now we've got all these um, pipe cleaners kind of going in every which direction. So we're gonna tie them off. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna just twist them. If you do not have the tools, this is how you're going to do this. You're going to twist your pipe cleaners all the way down to um, a point where you're ready to, and then just roll them to get it down. And what we're trying to do is we're just trying to, pipe cleaners do have the metal in them, and so they have a little rough point, and we just don't want that scratching the surface of whatever you put the wreath on. So that's how you would do it without the tools. If you have the tools, um, it does enable you to sometimes tighten where you weren't able to get it as pulled as tight um, so you can actually twist off better um, and so and then again I'm going to tuck it down there and some of these are longer than others and again this one's a little loose so I'm going to tighten it I mean you might find that's the case as you did it um, And then if you have any of the pliers, you can actually cut off the tip just so you don't have as much to work with and tuck it down. And you're gonna just do this around the wreath. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do that and make my way around the whole back side of the wreath. Um, and then I'll, so fast forward. Okay, so the, we've tied off all the pipe cleaners in the back and now is a good time to really make sure you've got ribbon kind of positioned where you want it. Um, and again, you're probably gonna do this two more times before we're done um, because things do get squished and we're gonna put the hearts on and so that might change um, the location of the ribbon may squish it a bit. Um, but what this will enable you to do is kind of see where you want to put those hearts um, as you may want to put them with a particular ribbon or you may want to make sure that the, a particular ribbon is showing. Um, it's, so it's, it's kind of helpful to do this. So I'm going to do this for a moment. And all I'm doing is just kind of fanning out my ribbon. And like this guy got tucked way behind.
make sure it's all facing up. Um, Okay, I think that's good. So I have, you know, the heart kind of goes this shape. It's hard to kind of tell. I mean, you can tell that it comes more to a point, but that's your top. So um, we're gonna figure out the, our location of our hearts. 